the next topic is large bowel obstruction okay so you can see here in the diagram there is a large bowel obstruction there is a very dilated cecum is there and the whole of the transverse colon is also dilated most likely the obstruction is at this level that is at the level of rectosigmoid okay so this is regarding large bowel obstruction what is the most common cause of large bowel obstruction it is malignancy okay so malignancy is the most common cause of large bowel obstruction whereas the most common cause of small bowel obstruction is post operative adhesion okay now what is the most common site of large bowel malignancy it is rectum followed by sigmoid okay generally the malignancy is most commonly at the rectosigmoid region among the rectum and sigmoid it is mainly rectum followed by sigmoid generally they give rectosigmoid as an option so that will be the correct option okay so that is the most common site of large bowel malignancy and obstruction is also more common in these malignancies because right sided malignancies are generally cauliflower like and not structuring type whereas the left sided malignancies malignancies in the rectum as well as sigmoid they are structuring types so that is why they cause more obstruction okay also the lumen of cecum okay and is more okay so cecal malignancy is not going to cause the obstruction generally so that is the reasons why it is more common in the rectosigmoid malignancy okay what is the status of adhesions they are rarely responsible for large bowel obstruction now you see this diagram here this is ileo here we have ileocecal wall this is the colon now this is the rectum sigmoid okay suppose there is a malignancy here there is a competent ic wall what do i mean by a competent ic wall normal function of ileocecal wall is to uh, allow the small bowel content to go inside the colon but do not allow the small or uh, the large bowel content to enter the small bowel okay in case if there is a competent ic wall and obstruction is there so gradually this colon will dilate itself and it will be kind of a closed loop obstruction that the colon is becoming massively dilated there is obstruction at one level and ic wall is not allowing the content to go into the small bowel so that is why the patient is having abdominal distension abdominal colic pain but there is no vomiting because ic wall is competent and it is not allowing the content to go up okay so that is kind of a closed loop obstruction there is early ischemia in closed loop obstruction that is why we should operate these patients early okay so in many cases the large bowel obstruction is a closed loop obstruction okay and vomiting is generally not seen in patients with competent ic walls okay and what are the clinical features it is abdominal distension inability to pass later sweetness or obstipation abdominal colics but vomiting is generally not seen or is seen only in patients with uh, incompetent ic wall okay now what is the treatment so the treatment as malignancy is the most common cause so i am here telling you the treatment of these malignancies only so suppose if there is a right colonic malignancy Experience. So, if there is a right colonic malignancy, we are going to do a right hemicolectomy. Okay. So, the treatment for a right colonic malignancy is a right hemicolectomy with ileo transverse anastomosis. Okay. This ileum will be anastomosed to the transverse colon with ileo transverse anastomosis. in sigmoid malignancy you see here 
this is a sigmoid malignancy in sigmoid malignancy we have two options we resect this sigmoid either we can anastomose this descending colon to the rectum so this will be sigmoid colectomy with colorectal anastomosis or we can do hartman procedure what is this hartman procedure i'll explain what is this hartman's procedure hartman procedure is uh, suppose this is a sigmoid colonic malignancy here if we are dividing rectum here and sigmoid colon here and uh, we are taking this descending colon outside so the remaining will be this descending colon will be taken outside as colostomy there will be sigmoid colectomy descending colostomy that is colostomy of the descending colon okay descending colon colostomy if you like and stapled closure or closure of the rectal stump this will be hartman's procedure okay these are the components of the hartman's procedure why hartman's procedure is important and why we are not anastomosing in this case suppose patient is sick we want to perform the uh, to relieve the obstruction very fast very quick okay and we want this large intestine containing lot of uh, fecal matter inside we want it to drain outside okay and this also decreases the chances of the anastomotic leak also because proximal bowel is very much dilated so that is why in old patients patients who are having poor anal tone and if the patient is very sick okay old frail patients who are very sick we generally prefer hartman's procedure young fit patient is there having obstruction we can go ahead with a uh, primary repair or with uh, this colorectal anastomosis upfront also okay but in emergency cases hartman's procedure is generally performed now coming to the mid or lower rectum tumor suppose if the tumor is at mid or lower rectum now to remove the mid rectal tumor or the lower rectal tumor we need to give a neo adjuvant chemo radiotherapy and after that only we should go ahead with the surgery now we are very sure here that the tumor is big that is why the tumor is causing obstruction if the tumor is big we should not go ahead directly and remove the tumor okay what is the best treatment is to do a, either a sigmoid colostomy or a transverse colostomy okay so we will do a colostomy which can be a sigmoid or a transverse colostomy generally the colostomy that is preferred is a sigmoid colostomy because generally we are removing the portion of the sigmoid so doing the sigmoid colostomy is better and after this colostomy once the obstruction is resolved then we will give chemo radiation to this segment and after giving the chemo radiation we will do resection of tumor generally we go ahead with lar low anterior resection with colostomy closure okay so this is regarding treatment of large bowel obstruction